Lumberton, North Carolina, Kingdom Your Hall. destination is on the right. Of his witnesses. Just pull up right on in here. How lovely. Here's why this is important. Because Anthony Morris III was a governing body member um, for Jehovah's Witnesses who were raised in the Christian Congregation of Jehovah's Witnesses Corporation. That means that he led the group that they thought uh, God's word was coming through. For people like me who are raised in the religious order of Jehovah's Witnesses, which is the society's uh, governance, Anthony Morris is a little turd who worked his way up by protecting, abetting, helping guys like my father, child rapists. Anthony Morris deliberately chose not to help anybody. In fact, he helped cover up a gang rape of a four-year-old in Ohio by five elders. We don't talk about that much, Tony, but we're going to. But probably... The thing that is most, I guess, personal to me is that Anthony Morris issued a video in late October of 2019, all my years a little bit blended, um, declaring enemies of Jehovah to be either burned or buried. Now, if you know me personally, you know that one week after that, my own house burned down my whole life burned down because Tony Morris, a mere mortal man inside of a cult, decided to issue a violent insight sight to order. Got myself all tongue tied there for a second. Yeah, he lit a match and gave an order to a bunch of super violent cult members to burn down the homes of anyone who was declared an enemy of Jehovah. <sighs> so here I am in Lumberton, North Carolina. Why? Well, because Anthony Morris was relocated here after he lost his position on the governing body in a desperate attempt to show that it wasn't everybody, it was just Tony Morris. Uh, he is now here in this building. And I think the biggest part of this is um, the problem with when we deify regular guys. So I'm making this video because I've had so many people reach out asking me really crazy questions like, is he even real? Um, it's not that crazy because inside it really warps your brain. But yes, he's just a regular old dude who loves kitty touchers. That's all. He just built his entire life off of the money, off of the backs of small children being sexually abused. So now here I am in Lumberton, North Carolina, and I only came down for two reasons. Good barbecue, obviously, and to burn his fucking life to the ground. And I just had a really good sandwich, so one thing's checked off the list. Obviously, I'm just playing around. I wouldn't, like, you know, make a professional video of lighting a match and telling everyone to burn down the homes of anybody who is speaking out against sexual abuse inside of the Jehovah's Witnesses. That would be crazy. Instead, I just want to talk about for anybody who follows it or is looking into it or has messaged me, I'm sorry for the delays in talking about this. It's been an ongoing investigation for the past two and a half years uh, because of the wide scope of it. But yeah, we don't want to deify men. We don't want to make men so untouchable or, you know, see them as the voice of God because then they get away with this kind of shit by reputation alone for 38 years. Luckily, that era is over. I feel relieved. I don't know if you do, but... Mm. He's also spent the better part of the last 21 years as a close associate of child rapists and pedophiles. Um, and in constantly talking about how women need to keep their mouth shut. So, yeah, it's going to go bad for him now. Maybe not right now. Right now. 
he just attends this building like a regular guy who isn't responsible for the sexual assault of thousands of small children inside of an organization that he was leading. And everyone hopes that everybody will forget about him. the jokes at least to talk about it seriously for one single second but the dark humor is my coping mechanism what else am i supposed to do after being raised worshiping a demon war god be violent myself mm, they'd like that wouldn't they serious time so anthony morris is just a guy who they have shuffled away to make sure that he's hidden away in a nice little kingdom so he can still present as a nice Christian man. This is the biggest and scariest part for regular community members. And this is why I'm talking. This is why my channel exists. This is why the investigation is ongoing. Because I was raised inside of the religious order of the Jehovah's Witnesses, as was Sarah Callan, uh, who is Jeffrey Epstein's, was Jeffrey Epstein's, um, I don't know, miniature madam. I don't know what we're calling her. Um, she was taken as a girl from the Jehovah's Witnesses and she was put in a place of luring other girls for them to come and be sexually assaulted. And she um, was raised exactly as I was, as many girls were. I was just very fortunate in that my mother escaped with us. She took us. She ran. This did not, however, stop them from trying to issue a massive cover-up, a national cover-up, using all kinds of fake media. Oh, we have this voice. And they invited my family to help cover up everything that had actually happened to us. Can you imagine the audacity of someone like that? To actually call the women decades later and ask them to come and do a fake expose, a fake cleaning out of everything you've done so that everyone who actually did it can get away scot-free. Isn't that so cute? <laughs> the Vertolomos politely declined. But I guess I declined too hard, huh? I just did not cooperate. What was the phrase that Toni Morris used again? Oh, the girls are acting up. The girls are acting up. So quick recap for anybody who was able to follow that CPTSD mess of thoughts. Um, Ma'am, we need an update on how AM3 is involved. He's involved because he's personally responsible for the rape, torture, and stalking of myself, my family, and the loss of my home my beautiful life and my beautiful home that I built. Anthony Morris is going to need to answer for that now because the time of hiding has ended. But for a quick note for everyone who's asking you where he is, what happened, where did he go? He's just living his life here in Lumberton, North Carolina, going to the Kingdom Hall and pretending around the community, around everyone's families and children, that he hasn't been doing what he's been doing his whole life. And it just... Mm, doesn't sit well for me, you know? In fact, it didn't sit well for any of us after my house burned down. It didn't sit well at all. Like, should we go in? No. No. That would be hostile. It'd be like lighting a match on camera telling a bunch of people to hunt me down and burn my home down. That would be crazy. Silly, silly gooses. Anyway, I think it's just fair that everyone knows where he is because because he made sure he knew where we were.